Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon, and there are a few changes. Um, still two storm systems on the board through from 2-1 to 2-9. In fact, the first one's already happening in California. I'll show you the radar coming up. The grand totals, though, in a few different locations are trending up significantly in some cases, with three bullseyes now clearly showing up. I've got the Sierra, the Wasatch, and southwest Colorado into big numbers, um, big snow bullseyes for those areas. Storm number one and two now bring a moderate intensity atmospheric river surge, and that's part of the part of the whole setup here is that there's just now more moisture to work with. Um, all that hits California, and then pieces of it will then roll into the interior with both storm systems now. The Panhandle Hooker storm track, that is still somewhat in question, continues to bounce back and forth as well as the intensity, but now the numbers have popped back up. And there's a little more available moisture and upslope for parts of Colorado, so the numbers have gone up. Um, specifically in areas that were lower this morning, some of those numbers have come back up. So we'll look at all that in this uh, forecast coming up. Let's go to radar and very impressive, really big slug of moisture here hitting central to northern California. It's just a matter of hours now before it hits Tahoe. Snow above 7,000 tonight, all night into tomorrow, heavy snow. Snowing on Shasta, snowing down at Mammoth overnight tonight into tomorrow. So it's just a matter of time again before that rolls in. Here's the lay of the land. So water vapor satellite imagery, your moisture's in your whites, your blues, and your greens. There's storm number one. That's happening right now. Low number two behind it right on its coattails. That'll come in um, 2.5 into 2.9. So uh, both of them being carried by a powerful subtropical jet escorted into the West Coast. So both of those still on the board. The intensity with the atmospheric river. Here it is. So this is valid for the central northern California coast around San Francisco. Um, two different surges, one happening now with storm one, the second one comes in, and that's the one that has grown. You know, it was looking like it might be weak a couple of days ago, but now we're into that moderate um, category. So both of these surges now being carried uh, into California with these two storm systems. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. There's your heavy snow in the Sierra overnight into tomorrow morning. There's 2-1 in the afternoon. Now by the time we get into 2-2, heavy snow through parts of the Tetons, the Wasatch, Idaho, and Colorado snow continuing in the Sierra. Here we go by 2-3. Now this is a key time frame. This is when that panhandle hook storm could spin up and, and somewhere in the panhandles of Texas, Oklahoma, Southeast Colorado and near Albuquerque. And you can see the rotation. This is a special setup for Colorado. It enhances snowfall, especially right on top of the Continental Divide, Denver and the foothills. What's happening is around that uh, counterclockwise circulation with that low, you get an enhancement of the easterly, northeasterly winds and that creates additional upslope over the top of the front range, the foothills and the continental divide. So the numbers that were lower this morning, Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Eldora, Keystone, Summit County, all those numbers have now come up a little bit as a result of this better track and stronger storm system. Still looks pretty warm for Denver. Um, I think a rain snow mix is a, is a fair thing to say at this point. Could get a couple of inches of accumulation of snow, but this is definitely gonna be on the warmer side. Again, no Arctic air with this just cold enough in a lot of locations. Look at that heavy snow band on 2-3 all the way up through Utah or up, up through the Tetons, the Idaho area, and also Montana. Pretty interesting. All right, here we go with 2-4. Snow continues in Colorado in the morning, winds down in the afternoon. Here comes storm number two plowing out of California, makes its way into the interior. Heavy snow on 2-7. Tetons, Wasatch, Idaho, Montana moving into Colorado by end of day. And there it is, another heavy shot of snow for Colorado on 2-8, and then it's done by 2-9 and moving away, but a potential third storm right there coming out of California on 2-9 into 2-10. So we're loaded. All right, let me show you what the uh, the jet looks like. Very, It looks very similar to this morning for tomorrow. This is valid 2-1. First storm system riding that powerful jet streak in. Now on 2-8, um, the second storm system would be moving through Colorado, New Mexico, Wyoming, Utah, and out by 2-9. But there's another dip, you can see it, coming into California. That's potentially that third smaller storm system. So the jet is bringing everything in. All right, new grand total map this afternoon. <clears throat> Look at the numbers, how much bigger they are this afternoon in the Wasatch. Almost 40 inches on the way for Little Cottonwood Canyon. The big numbers in the Sierra, 50 to 70 inches. And in Colorado, the numbers have come up, especially right on top of the Continental Divide, looking at a snow bullseye in southwest Colorado of 30, 40, 50 inches of snow. So three to four feet, potentially in southwest Colorado. All right, let me zoom into that map. 
Here's the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So you might recall this morning, the numbers to uh, the east of Vail Pass were much lower. Now those numbers have come up in Summit County, Loveland, Winter Park, A Basin, Keystone, Breck. Vail West still looks solid. Uh, Beaver Creek to Vail, the steamboat into the Aspen area. Let's go there. Here's the West Oaks. Very similar to what I was showing this morning. One to two feet of accumulation. These are grand totals, 2-1 two, through 2-9. One to two feet up and down um, the collegiates. Let's do it by time period. So 2-1 through 2-4. First storm system. One to two feet in the Sierra, about a foot for the Wasatch, about a foot for the Tetons, and potentially 8 to 16 in Colorado or more in some locations in western and southwest Colorado. All right, time period two is a big one. These numbers have all come up. This storm system is looking a little more, a little beefier. 2.5 through 2.9, 3 to 4 feet in, color, in, in the Sierra, 2 feet for the Wasatch, a foot, another foot there for the Tetons, and potentially another one to two feet for western and southwest Colorado. Um, very interesting. And good numbers through northern New Mexico as well. All right, let me go to the northeast before we end this. So very light snow, really nothing to write home about here. Again, this happens 2-1 into 2-2. But, you know, backing up to this grand total map, very impressive. Anywhere in purple is a foot or more in there. Basically, every major mountain range has a foot or more coming uh, as it looks right now. Um, again, the three snow bullseyes, Sierra, Wasatch, Southwest Colorado. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.